just want to start off again by, by thanking the fans. First off, uh, another great crowd. Uh, felt them early in the game. It was great running out of the tunnel, seeing a packed house again. And then to see the student section and a lot of the people uh, still there at the end was really neat for our guys. Um, it was kind of a long game there with the rain and everything. And to see uh, the student body still there on both sides was, was awesome for our guys. So uh, that was really great. Just want to thank everybody for that. Um, you know, first five, six minutes of the game, not great. Uh, so a lot of things to clean up off of film there, you know, hit us on some things. And then also we, we give up the safety. But then from then on, um, you know, I thought it was, it was pretty dominant overall. And just in terms of defense, I think it was maybe 10 straight drives. Uh, we stopped them uh, three and out or, or close to that. Uh, and then on offense, we got in a pretty good rhythm. Uh, but anytime you can create turnovers like we did, I think we had we had two strep uh, sack fumbles by Chase. We had the block punt and, and the, uh, the the interception by Jeff. And you, you're playing with a short field that makes all the difference in the world. And, and we were opportunistic in those situations. I thought uh, going into the game, we had opportunities to get turnovers uh, in other games that we weren't quite there. We got them today, so that was good. Um, but uh, you know, if we're going to go into Lincoln, you know, a lot of a lot of things to clean up if we're going to go beat those guys next week. So uh, already onto those guys and, and focused on uh, preparing for them next week. We'll open up questions over to the right, Jared. Uh, Ryan, uh, the second quarter, you mentioned the rhythm that you all found. That was a historically different quarter here. Uh, what was the rhythm that you found? What do you think you got going? Well, I think anytime uh, you know your defense can can do um, you know what what they did, which is shut them down, create turnovers like that, and then flip a short field. Uh, you know they were blitzing, and so they were leaving a little bit you know of of room out there, throwing the ball down the field, and, and I think we hit some of those, which kind of opened up the game. And then again, you know we get another uh, sack fumble, we turn the ball, you know we get the, uh, the turnover in short field, and then and then we're able to turn into points. And anytime you can kind of do that, especially. With the tempo, they were actually playing a little bit of an up-tempo early, and we were playing really fast early. And so uh, anytime that happens and you can kind of turn the momentum, it can flip fast, and I think that's what happened. Over to the left, uh, Dylan. Was there anything you saw from your team leading up to kickoff that you thought they might be a little bit flat? And did you prepare for the option this week? Yeah, for sure. And, uh, and, and that's actually not an option play. It's, it's, it's uh, another type of play that, uh, that we'll have to work on. They hit us, I think, three different times on that. But... Uh, no, I, I thought we had a really good week of practice. I thought, um, you know, the coaches did a great job of preparing them. And I'm really proud of the way the guys came out and played. I mean, uh, to come out like that after three weeks and a week of, you know, a lot of people telling us how great we were to come out and dominate like that is, is pretty impressive. So a uh, job well done. But again, it's what have you done for me lately? And we've got to go into Lincoln next, next week and get a big win. So third row right, Tony. Ryan, we know Garrett Wilson has made plays in practice. Jameson Williams, you've seen him do it in practice. What's it like when you see those two freshmen able to really two weeks, uh, both of them have been practicing. And, and that doesn't guarantee anything. You know, you can practice well, but it doesn't carry in, guarantee anything. But if you don't practice well, you don't even have a chance. But both of those guys have practiced harder. Uh, I thought their, their approach to the game has been better. Their attitude's been better. And then lo and behold, here we go. Now we start to see some things happening. And so it's good to see the growth of those guys. And, and it was good to see you know, the older guys like KJ Austin, Ben, and those guys show them the way. And, uh, and that takes a lot of... Um, you know, unselfishness along, along their part. But that's the same legacy that Terry and, and Paris and those guys left behind, and, and they're going to keep that going. So, uh, so it was a good start. It was good to see those guys make some plays. Over to the left, Bill. Next four games now, you guys have really not been tested at all. Do you really have a sense of, of just how good you guys are? You still kind of wait to find out what, how good you really yeah, are. Yeah, I think uh, maybe, maybe midway through the season, a better idea. Uh, I do think that uh, you know we, we're playing with a lot of passion. We're playing hard. We're playing tough. I mean that that's clear to see. But but again, like you said, you know we go on the road next. That's a, that's a big test. So I think I'll have a better idea after next week. Over to the right, Clay. No disrespect to Indiana, but as you mentioned, limbs are sort of over. How much better is Nebraska than anybody you've played? Uh, you know, hard to tell. Uh, I haven't really watched them much on film. We've been trying to stick with the mantra of, of winning. Uh, this game and focusing on this game, but uh, but Scott does a really good job, and then their defensive staff's really really good, and um, they have a really good quarterback, and, and that's a hard place to play. I mean, that's a real place to go on the road and and try to win. So uh, that's a big challenge for us. So uh, you know, we'll start talking about that tomorrow morning. And actually, kind of talked about it a little bit just in the locker room, and and, uh, and they were all ears. So uh, big challenge, and and that starts even tonight. Uh, just that you know, this this is this is already going. To, usually, what we do is we have our. Uh, our meetings tomorrow. We'll still have our champions meetings tomorrow to make sure that uh, you know we, we don't just go by this and uh, reward the guys who play like champions in this game because it's hard to win college football game and uh, and we're going to do that. But at the same time, we're going to quickly move on to Nebraska and get going on the film. 
Second row left, uh, Rob. Ryan, we're seeing things with this offense that haven't been seen in a while around here. It's as simple as a quarterback sneak. Uh, are you happy with the fingerprints that you're starting to leave on this program and on this offense? Uh, well, I think the, the whole goal is to figure out what plays fit the, the, the personnel that you have, and that's what we're trying to do on a weekly basis. And, uh, you know, talking through the preseason about the journey that this, this team was going to go on, uh, on, on both sides of the ball and special teams, but then also on offense. You know, what was it going to look like? And that's, that's the fun part about college football is that based on your personnel, what gives you the best chance to win? And it's not cookie cutter. It's not the same thing year in and year out. You can't just say, hey, here's the playbook. Let's go run these plays. It doesn't work that way. And I think that's the key to really good college coaching is being, being the ability to adapt to your personnel and have the ability to go in and out of personnel groupings, you know, spread or under center or two, two tight ends, three tight ends. And, um, you know, I think Kevin, Mike, Stud, Tony, you know, Mike, uh, you know, uh, Brian Hartline, everybody's doing a really good job of making sure we have uh, some variety in our game. But, uh, but we got to keep going on that. Is this the defense you anticipated seeing when you started to put things together? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, we're only four games in. But, uh, but yeah, that was, that was the vision. And, uh, you know, I think that we got a long ways to go still. You know, and I know it's hard sometimes you look at these games, but, but you do. You, there's going to be some things on film that we can look, really look at and figure out how, how other teams are going to be attacking us and making sure we have the, you know, the ammo to come back at them with. Uh, uh, second row right, uh, Nathan. Yeah, what did you see happen on the, the play that led to the safety? And is there anything about Justin's windup that maybe makes him more susceptible to that from time to time? No, no, it was a double move. It was a post corner that, um, that takes a little time to develop. And looking back, uh, it was kind of a risky thing coming out, but I wanted to be aggressive in the game. And, and uh, you know, we ran the ball for only one or two yards. And I said, you know, let's take a shot. And uh, Ben actually ran a really good route post corner, but it takes a little bit of time. Uh, it was a Sam rifle where, the, where the, uh, the, the guy blitzed off the edge and, and JK just got beat a little bit, um, you know, off the edge. And then he, he got his hand down. So uh, probably not a great play call coming out. Probably should have just got it out of his hand quick or run it out. But, um, but J.K. does have to do a better job protection, and uh, you know that's not one that Justin can see. I mean, that's coming off his backside. That's hard, so I don't think that one's on him. Over to the left, Ari. Hey, Ryan. Coming into the game, uh, you heard the recess comment from the opposing coach, and they're pulling their quarterback out in the first half, and wondering what can you truly gain. I know getting guys in early, but how do you prepare for this game? You hear the comments, you're aware of what's going on. You know that the talent is lopsided. I mean, what are you hoping is the what's the goal here besides winning? Because yeah, I think there's two things. I think one is, you know, we talked all week about what, you know, we have momentum, we got to keep momentum. And how do you do that? You have a standard, you know, and, and, and we play and, and the ball's on the ground. We have a standard of how we play. And that doesn't matter who we're playing. And, and to continually build on that, a game is a game. And uh, we wanted to do that. The second thing, when you look at a game like this, is it allows you to create that depth and, and keep building that depth and some strength. And you can really go back on that late in the season. You know, you never know what's going to happen injury wise. You never know if you get into a game where someone's playing with a lot of tempo and you got to play depth in the game. You just never know. And there, so I think today was a great opportunity to have a lot of guys to play. You know, I, I even thought Chuggs came in and threw the ball pretty good. You know, I thought that was good for him to be able to go back on. Garrett Wilson makes some plays. Guys on defense running around and, and making some tackles. So those are, those are things that guys can go come back upon later on in the year, um, you know, hopefully as experience. Quick follow-up on that is uh, you mentioned Chug. You guys are in a position right now where you have a starter and you're still trying to identify a backup. How important is it as this team is on a quest to identify a, a true real backup quarterback to have Chris play an entire half like that? Yeah, no, I thought it was good, and I, and I thought he took a step forward. Uh, you know, even when Gunner was in there, he made that nice throw to, to Jamison, so that was good to see. But, but I thought that, uh, that Chris handled himself well in that situation because he had to play a whole half. And, and then Gunner came in and, and, and did a good job as well, you know. Move the team down the field for a couple drives, and and we wanted we challenge those guys. Move the ball down the field. We're not here to just run out the game. Let's let's really play football and find out where we're going to go from it. And so I think for those guys, there's a lot of film to, to grow upon. And so we'll make sure we watch that film with those guys for sure uh, tomorrow and see if we can build on those guys. Okay, we only have time for a couple more front row right over here, Austin. Ryan, what was your vantage point on the Garrett Wilson touchdown, and how would you describe it? Uh, it was a one-on-one -on -one goal ball that um, you know. Chris kind of underthrew a little bit, but he gave him a chance by putting a lot of air on it. And then it was uh, just unbelievable talent, um, you know, going over the top, making the, you know, make, getting his hands on it over the top of the corner, but then also somehow making some sort of circus catch. Uh, that, was, that was things we've seen in practice, but that one was pretty unreal. And over to the left, Doug. Ryan, you guys have been pretty successful with the up-tempo stuff. Are, are you doing it as much as you thought you would coming into the year? And how do you think Justin and the offensive linemen have handled that? It was funny. Uh, it, early in the game, we couldn't 
really get into the rhythm of the tempo. Um, it was just kind of funny the way the way it worked. Uh, but I thought uh, we did play fast at times. I think in the first half, you know, we were snapping the ball pretty quick. We're getting lined up. Uh, I'll have to look at it, but I think we were snapping it at times before 30 seconds, you know, so 40, and, and, and there was about 10 seconds in there we were getting it snapped. Uh, but that's only good if you get the first first down. You know, you can't, uh, you know, get yourself into three and outs. And, and, um, and so, uh, yeah, we love tempo. It's a big part of our game. It's, it's not uh, going to be used every week the same amount. You know, we'll, we'll make decisions on that uh, before the game, but that also in game. You know, sometimes it's, it, it gets you in a rhythm a little bit, and we like playing that way. Uh, but we'll, we'll kind of take it week in and week out. Like you maybe took some more deep shots today. Was there something in the way they were playing coverage, or did, was that part of the offense that you guys wanted to maybe flex that muscle a little bit and see how you could do there? Yeah, it's always part of our game. We have something in our game plan called shots, and they came up. Uh, you know, and we're bringing a bunch of guys. They were loading the box up, uh, which most people do against our run game, and we kind of expected that after last week, the way we ran the ball. And anytime you can get one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside with our guys, we think we've got a good shot. And last question, the front row right, Tim. Yeah. Uh the uh, pass to uh, Benjamin Victor, the catch at the back of the end zone. What what does that do for him from a confidence standpoint moving forward? Are you seeing him progress like you thought he would this year? And then number two, uh, Chase Young with two strip sacks. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, no, I mean, to, to see Chase come off the edge like that was unbelievable. And, and uh, you know, it's one thing to be veteran. It's one thing to be really good. It's another thing to play that way and produce. And to see him do that, uh, change the game just like that. And not only that, it, it it changes the momentum of the game. You know, it kind of, you know, if you're on the other side of the ball and you see that a couple times, that can take your heart away. And I think it did. Um, and so he, he's playing at a high level right now. We got to keep him doing, you know, keep him going at that level. And he's got to keep producing because when he does, our defense is really good. Uh, and for Ben, I, I thought that was great. You know, Ben's a guy who, you know, if, if he makes big plays, we go. And that's, that's really been in our first four games. And, and he's made some big plays. Uh, this year, and that's kind of got our offense going, and he has big playability, so that was a big-time throw and catch.